our cities are steadily growing and getting more crowded with people, traffic, and industry, and they all leave their mark. The air in our cities contains all kinds of unhealthy pollutants, like nitrogen dioxide, ozone, and fine dust particles. Obviously, we don't want those things ending up in our bodies. Did you know that people in cities could lose one year of their life due to exposure to these pollutants? If we want to improve air quality in our cities, we need to know what happens with the air that we breathe. And that's pretty difficult for something you can't see. But what if we could understand the complexity of the system and make air quality visible? After years of research, a team of scientists cracked the code and combined all relevant elements into a set of formulas, which we call a model. This allows us to do amazing things. For countries, we can produce air quality forecasts, which, just like weather forecasts, allow people to adapt their activities accordingly. In cities, we can point out the problem areas and help to develop cleaner cities. We can simulate the effect of each aspect we change and come up with the most effective improvements to meet air quality standards. Zooming in further, we can move street elements around and see which arrangement results in the best air quality. This might not always be the obvious choice. Trees, for example, can hinder the flow of traffic-related air pollution out of busy street canyons. Basically, it all depends on the specific situation, but for every city in the world, it's now possible to use the models and do the calculations to really know what is going on. Predict, plan and improve air quality.